Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm playing with fabric. And what I've done is I've cut a piece of canvas that's 12 by 8 inches and I'm laying down some fabric on it and I'm going to make this into a page for a book. So I've just put a mark down the centre so I know roughly where the fold will happen and I want to put this piece of ribbon over the top of all that. I'm just looking at this snippet, put this bit of snippet here I think and I've got to put something else here as well. I'm not sure I like that, that's a leftover bit of cut from the tablecloth that I cut off. I'm going to cut a bit of snippet off there and put it down and now I'm just going to sew it all on and then I will further embellish it. So the first side that I want to sew, this side, which will be the back of it, or the outside of the pages, and the center piece will fold together and I'll sew that afterwards. I need to actually sew something down. In fact, I might leave that till after so I can sew it all down at the end. And I do need another piece of something for here. A piece of fabric here, maybe I can put this in just a piece of old quilting fabric and see what what we can get I've been using a bit of my snippet roll lately in fact I have two snippet rolls and I've been using a bit of both of them now that's okay but I need, need something else more on top of this so I'm just searching the table to see what I've actually got to put down on top I'll put this down I guess, it's just a doily, it's a fairly open weave but if I fold it in half like that it might even create a little pocket on the back of that actually, yep so that can go down there and this is one of the little things I made the other day, just sewing on the fabric, mimicking a, a Tim Holtz fabric scrap, so that can go there. I'd like that to overlap that bit of lace, I think. Hmm, I might stamp something on this first before I sew it on, actually. And I do have another snippet roll here. And I like that I've left these sort of hanging bits on that. So I will be trying to use this as well on the other side. I don't know if it'll go on this side. No, it's a bit too much for this side. Okay, so I'll just put that to one side until I do the other side of the page. And I definitely want to put this under here or something because it's a bit, I suppose it can just stay curled like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. When I've sewn that snippet, in fact I can unsnip it, I've just caught up some of the fabric when I've sewn something on there. So it's a little bit twisted. Let's see. That'll be fine, that'll all be mostly hidden under the spine there. So I may just sew this bit on and I first of all get a stamp out and find something to stamp on top of here. I'm using my Field Notes stamps. I made a little packet for them so they don't all fall everywhere. And I just have to find something that's going to fit on here. I could use that one. Maybe I'll put this one. I want something that's fairly bold so it's going to stand out. I'm going to get one go at this. I guess I can flip it over the other side if it doesn't work. But let's stamp this one on and see how we go. Oh that's cool. I like that. So that will go on there. So I'll pop away and sew it. Okay, so I've sewn all those pieces down except the spine piece and I missed a little bit there, I'll have to fix that when I go back. And I'll just chop this edge off. I don't know whether I'll wrap that edge around actually. Yeah, I might wrap that edge around. I've got a lot of threads, I was jumping around all over the place and then my bobbin ran out which is you know, it always runs out when you never want it to. <laughs> anyway, I'll just chop some of these off and then I'll do the back of it. 
I think it's going to look quite cool though. And I do have a little pocket here that I can pop something in. I'm not sure what yet. And I'll do this side now. So I'm going to wrap this around definitely. I won't bother chopping that piece off and I'm going to leave that little pocket sticking out here. That doesn't worry me. And now I want to put some more things down. So I did get this, which is a piece from one of my old tablecloths and I will create a little pocket along here with it. Just have to fold the edges up and I don't have another pin that I can see. Let me see. Ah, here's one. So I'll just pop those up and then that'll form a little pocket in there but I need to put some more stuff over here. I've got, um, oh here's a bit of lace, I could put a bit of lace down on here, maybe down on here I'll put that lace after I fold those over. Put some lace there and I have some green stripy fabric, a bit of leftover from one of my quilts of course, so I'm going to put that through there I think. In fact, I'll move this one around so that it goes over the top here. Put that on top. Yeah, that looks better with the green underneath. And I also have a little library card. A bit of fabric with library card printed on it. I can put this down here and I need something for up here I've also got this cute little sheep fabric I'll have to put the sheep in the sheep are just too cute aren't they I'll cut a bit of that so I can use it on something else or another piece put the sheep there and I don't want to cover up that pocket, so I just need something for up here. What else have I got? Where's that snippet I had here? I probably don't want that there. In fact, I might put the library card up here coming out of the pocket like that and then I could put this snippet over here so I'll probably cut that off at this point and then put this rest of this snippet here under there maybe so I can have that bit on it chop a bit more of this off. I must make some more snippets. So they're such fun to make and I'm really starting to use what I've made which is also great. I need something for down here. Maybe I can put this other bit of sheep down here. That might look cute. It's a bit of a mishmash but why not? I think that's quite sweet and oh, that's a big lump from the other one and I do have a bit of this which I could put down the center here maybe so maybe I'll put it underneath this library card so that library card's got something between it and the canvas as well and I'll overlap it like that so you won't actually see that much of it but you'll see some of it All right, I'll just go and sew that as well. Okay, I've sewn that up. Now, the trick in sewing it was not to close off the poppet on the other side, and I think I have managed to achieve that. Let me just grab all this and 
see if it's all staying where it's meant to stay. I'm using my old machine today, so probably not as good as what my good machine is, but I put the good machine or I put the cover on it, so I couldn't be bothered taking the cover off again. That's quite cool. I've got a pocket here. I've got these dangles. I love a dangle. If you saw my wardrobe, you'd know I love a dangle. <laughs> and on the back, and I've still managed to maintain my pocket. Just by pulling it down as I was sewing, I was able to get right in there and sew on the other side without the pocket being sewn up by accident. Got lots of threads, I'm not sure what's going on. I think it was catching up a bit because it's quite thick in places. But I'm quite happy with that and I like my little tag here that I've done. And I also think that it's, um, it's very cool. I don't think I'm going to cut that bit off. I was, but I'm also not going to put that ribbon on the back, I don't think. I like the way it's just natural. So this will be the inside of the page, and then this will be the outside. And it could even be the actual cover of the journal, and I could sew things into it, come to think of it. So maybe I'll use it as a cover, but I'll certainly be making something to add into it soon. And if it was going to be the cover, I should have probably made it a bit bigger. But I might have to cut my pages down to actually fit in it. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm really enjoying that. So there you go. I've made a fabric page. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Cheers.